Hello everyone, you all right? Welcome to Stampy, our sixth birth motorhome, and to our channel, Escape in the Motorhome. This week, we haven't actually escaped anywhere. I've been rather busy fiddling around with Stampy, preparing to hopefully put the solar panel kit on later this week, if the weather's good. In the meantime, I've been doing a lot of research into motorhome clubs and breakdown cover. Now there's a lot of information out there, so I've put together a little video using some of my kids' favourite toys to show you the kind of things each club offer and the deciding factors in our personal choice. I hope you enjoy it. Right, this is it. Hello, Everybody out. Let's go, kids. Right, head count. Dad, B, kid one, kid two, kid three, kid four. Hi and welcome to our Motorhome Club comparison video. Today we're focusing on the two titans of the caravan world. First up we have the Camping and Caravanning Club established in 1901 with over 700,000 members. Secondly we have the Caravan and Motorhome Club, formerly the Caravan Club, established in 1907 with nearly 1 million members according to Wikipedia. First up I wanted to check out the voice of the customer so I headed over to Trustpilot to check out their reviews. Well, the Camping and Caravanning Club, which can boast former presidents such as David Bellamy, unfortunately only had 237 reviews and a score of only 1.8 out of 5. Whereas the Caravan and Motorhome Club had a whopping 6,174 reviews on their page and a slightly more impressive score of 3.4 out of 5. The negative reviews on both sides cited their booking apps, but on the Caravan and Camping Club there were an awful lot of complaints about the treatment by site owners. Not cool. To tell us more, please welcome our special guests. So, randomly picked representatives, tell us about your sites. First up, Camping and Caravanning Club. Well, we have 100 club sites, 1,200 member exclusive sites, 40% uh, off Euro Camp sites, and partners with all camps in 17 countries. Great. And now the Caravan and Motorhome Club? Thanks, Daz. Well, we have double the club sites at 198 and double the number of exclusive sites with 2,200 CLs. They're small sites with five pitches. And we have 310 overseas sites. OK, so the Caravan and Motorhome Club have more sites. But well, what about Wi-Fi? Well, the Camping and Caravanning Club don't mention Wi-Fi on their sites, but the Caravan and Motorhome Club do. So we'll need to check out that Wi-Fi situation. It's worth noting that the Camping and Caravanning Club have 52 service sites where for £7.65 you can use their facilities for three hours, including laundry, showers and waste. Great for a family like ours. Bonjour. Merci Pierre. Yes, those sites overseas could be really good for us later this year. Now let's talk about dogs. Here's Sammy. Good boy. So Camping and Caravanning have 300 dog friendly sites and the Caravan and Motorhome Club welcome dogs and cats at all 198 club sites. Here you go Sammy. Go fetch. Now where were we? OK, let's talk discounts. First of all, the Caravan and Motorhome Club, well, they offer 13 to 15 pounds off club site fees. The Camping and Caravanning Club, 30%. So we took a weekend in May in the South Downs at about 25 to 40 pounds a night. 30% would only be 8 to 13 pounds. So unless the pitch is over 45 pounds a night, you're better off with the Caravan and Motorhome Club. Both clubs offer a wealth of discounts, so be sure to check out each of the sites for more details. One important one for us was the Channel Crossings. With the Euro Tunnel alone, one trip across the channel could save you most of your membership. Talking of membership, what's this all going to cost? Both clubs offer two types of payment, but the Caravan and Motorhome Club is about 30% more expensive. You'll have to judge for yourself if that's value for money. Finally, we wanted breakdown cover. No, not that kind of breakdown. Both breakdown plans offer various levels of cover. For the UK only, green flag breakdown cover plus membership came in nearly £40 cheaper than the other club. However, if you're looking for EU cover like us, then the RAC plan plus membership came in £20 cheaper than green flag. But that is, I hear you cry, which one is better? Well, the truth is, it's down to your own personal circumstances. For us, I think we're going to go with the Camping and Caravanning Club and RAC membership and if we have any pennies left, we'll join the other club purely for the discounts and extra camping options. Well, that's all for now. I hope you found it useful and until our next escape, thanks for watching.